Hi boys and girls, it's Auntie Nadine and welcome to a very special story time. Are you ready boys and girls? Let's go. The title of today's story is The Birth of John the Baptist. The time came for Elizabeth to have her baby and she gave birth to a son. When her friends and relatives heard the news, they shared her great happiness and praised God for showing her such a kindness. Eight days later, and it was time for their son to be presented in the temple and given a name. He must be called Zacharias after his father, said their relatives. No, said Elizabeth, his name is John. But no one in the family has that name, they said. Then they turned to Zacharias to see what he thought about it all. Zacharias still could not speak. Remember that boys and girls? Yes, he still could not speak. So he called for his writing tablet and wrote down. His name is John. Everyone was astonished. From that moment, Zacharias was able to speak again and he praised God. The story of what had happened soon spread throughout Judea so that everyone wondered just what this child would turn out to be. Clearly, he was blessed by God. Then his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and said, You, the child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go ahead of the Lord to prepare a way for him, to give his people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Isn't that wonderful, boys and girls? Yes, that is wonderful. And the child, John, grew up and lived alone in the desert wilderness until the time came for him to do God's work among the people of Israel. Did you enjoy that story, boys and girls? I hope you did. If you did, make sure to come back where we will continue our story where I have a lot of exciting things to tell you about the story of John. Okay, boys and girls, and other people in the story. Now, here is a picture of everything that is taking place. Boys and girls, do you see Elizabeth holding baby John in her arms? And there is Zacharias with the writing pad, writing the name of their son on the pad. And there are all the relatives and other people looking on quite astonished because they thought that Zacharias would be writing something else on the paper but Zacharias obeyed the instruction that was given to him and insisted that the baby's name would be John. All right boys and girls thank you for coming and listening to the story and I will see you again on our very special story time. Bye.